That is a nice fish, dude. Look at that. That is a slab. It's a chain pickerel. Catching a fish takes preparation. Jason Wilcox drills holes in the Nashwaxa stream. He grinds through about six inches of ice with an auger. Breaking through, he hauls water up and over the snowy ice. It's hard work. Environmental consultant Rod Curry monitors the quality of fish, invertebrates, and water for government agencies and industries within the province. He grew up fishing and still loves it, but he fears others don't feel the same. These days a lot of kids are not getting into these traditional sports like they used to. Just from year to year I don't see it, you know, because every time I'm out here there's, there's fathers and sons, uh, there's families. Joshua Stairs has been fishing for about 10 years. Common ice fishing methods use tip-ups and rods. Wilcox uses both. First, he sets the tip-ups. After baiting the hook and dropping the line, Wilcox sets the flag and presses the tip-up into the slush. There's not too many things that, that satisfy uh, an urge or a desire for happiness like fishing. Oh no! <laughs> He jumped right out of the ice. I fish for just about everything from salmon to trout to perch, pickerel, muskie, sturgeon, striped bass. I really like to catch any fish. Um, each species presents its own challenges and requires different tackle and uh, methods of angling. Although Curry believes the hobby is withering, there was a lot of action at French Lake this past weekend. <laughs> Between 40 and 50 people spent the afternoon ice fishing. Wilcox caught a 24-inch chain pickerel and cleaned it right on the ice. For Stu Journalism, I'm Shannon Mooney.